The All Progressives Congress remained silent on the issues of zoning after its 11th National Executive Committee meeting. And once again, President Buhari has met with service chiefs over the spate of insecurity in the country. This is Plus Politics, and I am Kofi Bartels. You're welcome. The National Publicity Secretary of the All Progressives Congress, uh, Felix Morka, has said that the party is yet to take a decision on the issue of zoning as well as the mode of primaries it will adopt ahead of a 2023 presidential election. The, the All Progressives Congress also says it will begin its sale of presidential governorship and national as well as state assembly forms this Saturday. However, it is, the, it is the high nomination fees for aspirants that has generated discussions around the country. Now, we're glad to say we have joining us on Plus Politics tonight, the a presidential aspirant on the platform of the NNPP, Victor Anila Joe, who is with us in the studio. And joining us via Zoom, the convener of the Progressive Youth Group in the APC, Idris Jibril. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Uh, Jibro, um, I, I, you are an insider as far as the APC is concerned, and I'm sure you followed keenly the National Executive Committee meeting that held yesterday. We hear uh, President Buhari and Vice President Yemi Oshibajo were there from the onset. Um, the news coming out was a bit different from what the spokesperson of the party has been saying um, recently. The news we heard was that the the party had chosen the indirect primaries mode, um, uh, indirect primaries rather, and had also, you know, zoned its the presidential ticket to the southern part of the country. Um, now we're hearing from the spokesperson that the, there was no decision taken as far as the mode of primaries uh, the party will adopt is concerned. Uh, also, as far as zoning is concerned, what can you tell us about this this um, this next meeting? What really happened? Okay, thank you very much. I think the publicity secretary of the party have the official mandate to communicate the position of the party to the, to the public. So whatever the publicity secretary has said so far, maybe there was an in-house discussion that wasn't meant to be in the public purview for now. When is the appropriate time for this discussion to be in the public purview? The publicity secretary is going to come out again and tell us that this is the position of the party officially. The case of zoning, I think we've heard from grapevines and across some other medias that the party is planning to zone its presidential ticket to the south. All right. And some other issues. I think as the electioneering process unveils itself, a lot of other things will become open to us. We are going to have the official communication from the party. We shouldn't forget this party, this party executive just got inaugurated not quite long ago. They are trying to hit the ground running and understand a lot of things that have been handled by the May Malabuni led Keteka committee. So let's give them the benefit of doubt and allow them to actually understudy some of these things and get us on our feet once again. We are approaching election period. So we need to put our heads together with them and push our narrative collectively to the public. Thank you. So J J Idris Jibril, Jibril, what are you saying is that despite the spokesman of uh, your party coming out, as uh, Felix Moka coming out to say no decision was taken on zoning, you're saying that a decision was taken on zoning, but they are not ready to tell the public as it stands. And until that comes out, we should... Um, we should wait, but that you have heard and you're aware that the party is owning its presidential ticket to the south. Is that what you're saying? Well, the publicity secretary have the mandate to communicate to us officially. But of course we know unofficially that after the eight years of the president being in the north, it is just logical that the presidency should be zoned to the south. 
Okay, but you've, you've, you've had some, some information to indicate that such a decision was taken? You talked about the grapevine. It's all over the news, on a lot of medias, on a lot of platforms, on new medias and also on the print media. It's all over the news. All right, so, so basically he's just trying to deny what has already been decided. Uh, not denial, I wouldn't say denial, probably waiting for the appropriate time to communicate the position of the party. Maybe they want to ratify that decision. Because that decision was taken by the May Malabuni led caretaker committee. So they need to come down and ratify that decision too. And then we move forward from there. How about the issue of the mode of primaries to adopt? Um, is that also something that was decided upon? Uh, but it's just a case of the party not being ready to announce it yet. Well, you know, the APC constitution was quite clear about the mode of primaries. It left the room open for direct, indirect, and also consensus. I think from their NEC meeting yesterday, the powers of the NEC have been transferred to the NWC. And the NWC is going to decide on the appropriate mode of primaries that will suit all party faithful so that we don't have internal rancors as we move along this electioneering process. All right. All right. So, so this news coming out on all platforms, you know, on newspapers and uh, electronic media like ours, and um, you have uh, social media, you're saying you can't confirm that because it's almost the same thing that uh, happened to the, the rumor as far as uh, zoning is concerned. You're right. All right. Some of this news we hear on the media will actually be, yes, they may be authentic news, but they also need the authentication of the party. So until the publicity secretary comes out to tell us this is what has been decided, it still remains a speculation. Uh, as far as you're concerned, as a member of the All Progressives Congress, what, I mean, I know the party's constitution recognizes both direct and indirect primaries, and this uh, was, was a, a paramount or was really seen in 2019 when Adam Soshimbele was uh, chairman of the party, you know, adopting different primaries in different states or modes of primary in different states. But um, as far as you're concerned, for the 2023 elections, uh, what would be the ideal mode of uh, selecting or electing the party's flag bearers? Would it be indirect okay. or will it be directly by uh, the, the party members? Okay. Considering the situation of things at the moment and how the party has been able to handle some of this internal crisis, I think the most appropriate mode of primaries would be an indirect primary. We can have all delegates across wards, local government, and everybody coming down to one location within the country to have a primary election. So I think according to the party's calendar, we still have uh, the part, the delegate election coming up soon, and that will determine who and who are going to be delegate at the primary election. So let's keep watching as things unfold. The appropriate mode of primary is going to be communicated by the right authority in the party. All right. Uh, another thing that um, came out from that particular meeting was uh, President Muhammad Buhari uh, warning against imposition uh, as the APC decides. For, on its candidates for the 2023 uh, elections. The president warned the leaders of the All Progressives Congress at both the national and state levels against factions and imposing unpopular candidates um, as the 2023 election approaches. Um, do you foresee that this, this, this call uh, uh, and this directive by the president will be heeded, bearing in mind the nature of the politics that we see at play in, in the country today? Well, there might be some dissent here or there, but I think majority will heed to this clarion call of the president not to impose candidates. Imposing candidates is a recipe for disaster in the party. So we can't afford to impose an unpopular candidate on the people. And this should go across all levels from the local government election down to the highest election in the country. We should learn to allow democratic process a part. Let a popular candidate emerge through the official process that has been designated by the party. Having to impose candidate will actually be the downfall of a party. We've seen this 
in several states where candidates were imposed, and at the end of the day, the unpopular candidate couldn't win the vote. So having a popular candidate will be a guarantee for success at whatever level that they are contesting. Well, Jibril, this is quite, quite clear. I mean, you've said it already. It's, it's best to have a popular candidate. But uh, I'm sure we would also do ourselves justice by, by recognizing the, the dynamics at play in the different states across the Federation. I mean, the president, you know, said the same thing you're saying. He talked about uh, the cost to the APC in previous elections, this attitude of imposing candidates or imposition of candidates by, you know, so-called godfathers. But, um, I mean, is this easy because you have some dynamics at play across the country, different situations and different scenarios, different historical factors, different uh, zoning formulas and zoning arrangements that may make it imperative uh, for certain popular candidates to be asked to step aside or, you know, to be asked to sit it out, you know, uh, on, to not be supported by the powers that be in a party. For fairness sake, um, you're also aware that the APC has several parallel um, executives, let me call it that, across different states following um, the, the, the congresses that held, you know, around the country. You know, we had, so in some states, like Aquabon State, you had three exos coming up, you know. So how can this, these challenges be surmounted? Would it be that easy, you know, for power brokers in the party to not select or impose? I mean, I can give you examples, and I'm sure you're well aware of this. Definitely. I, I think the new party executive have is, as part of their mandates to reconcile all states that have parallel factions. I think part of those states include Aquaibong, like you have rightly mentioned, and even river states, like you have mentioned. And all of these states that have parallel function, as they are as a result of imposition of candidates. And I think it is quite appalling that at this point in our political history, some power brokers will feel they are strong and powerful enough to impose candidates. You know, we've gone past the period of 20, uh, uh, 1999. This is 2022. People are more aware politically. People are more knowledgeable. And people understand this political process better now. Imposing a candidate would definitely be a recipe for disaster. There are quite a lot of court cases here and there, and this is not, it's not going to augur well for the party. The party lost Zamfara due to imposition. So we, we don't want to have a repeat of such crisis anymore in our party. And the new executive of the party have it as part of their top mandate, uh, in their top banner to ensure that every state that have factions are reconciled and let's have one unified body across the state up to the federal level. All right. Before I bring in our guest in studio, uh, Victor Nila, uh, um, Jibril, what, what, what does it mean? Um, um, can you explain this to us? We hear the, the National Executive Committee of the party uh, transferred powers to the National Working Committee until uh, July 2022. And I'm trying to understand how that works. You know, we're bearing in mind that both, both bodies have their own respective functions. Um, you know, for instance, we told the party secretary, uh, uh, Dr. Yelao Mishore, uh, disclosed uh, that, you know, uh, the, the powers of the National Executive Committee will be handed over or delegated to the National Working Committee. Uh, the president also told uh, the new members of the National Working Committee, which have been delegated the powers of the NEC, to work towards keeping the party together. You know, so what, what's, what's at play here? Can you explain this to us? Okay, I, I think uh, there's a provision in the INEC law that we actually need to meet up with this electoral timetable. So we're trying to see how we can meet up with this electoral timetable. So we want to have an expanded house. The National Working Committee involves ESCOs across the state, party executive across the state. It's a more expanded house so that decision making are faster and we can arrive at a decision and have our delegate list and uh, our, our candidate list submitted to INEC at the right time so that we meet up with the INEC guidelines without having any rancors or issues here and there where it has to pass from the state down before it gets to the, uh, the NEC, the National Executive Committee. So the NWC, transferring the powers of the NEC to the NWC 
is to expedite actions to see that things are done faster and we can meet up with most of these INEC deadlines because we, we wasted quite a lot of time during the May Malabuni led caretaker committee. Now we need to meet up. We've not even started the sale of forms yet. So oh. all these things are meant to expedite the party's activity to see that we meet up with INEC timetable. Thank you. All right. Now, ha having having um, you know uh, uh, looked at what transpired and the issues, I have kept um, Victor Nilaji on eyes because he's not a member of the APC, so he might not be informed about the workings of that meeting. Except Victor, you, you, it's something you've not told us. Uh, well, last time I checked, you're a member of the NNPP. Now, um, uh, let's go straight. Uh, and you realize, I'm sure, very well aware of, it, of this, as we all are, of the contention or the contentious issue of the, the, the cost of the nomination and expression of interest forms by the All Progressives Congress. I mean, social media was on fire last night. Radio stations um, and TV stations, uh, you know, were on fire yesterday. Um, let's not waste time. We'll just give you the total. For the House of Assembly election, uh, you have the uh, total sum of two million naira for the form. Uh, for the House of Representatives election, you have 10 million naira, the total sum for the form. For the Senate election, you have uh, the total of 20 million naira for the form. For the uh, governorship election, you have a total of 50 million naira uh, for the form. And then for the presidential election, you have a total of 100 million naira uh, for the form. Expression of interest and nomination total, APC. Uh, Victor Anilaji, you are a young uh, politician, aspiring president. Uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the platform of the NNPP. Um, can you understand why people are screaming and are complaining about this 100 million naira presidential nomination form or presidential form cost by the APC? Well, okay, let me first of all say thank you for having me in your show today. Um, for us as the current generation, we see it as a way to disenfranchise the younger visionary candidates. Because I do not think there's a Nigerian today within the age of 50 below that will want to put in a hundred million to purchase a nomination form. That is one. Then number two is the party itself, the party executives have just said to Nigerians that we know how much most of our political offices hold that, how much they normally we take or steal from government. So they want to take their own first. Is that, is that what the party said? Uh, but that's this just, okay, okay, look at the price. Yeah. <laughs> House of Rep, 10 million. Senate, 20 million. Because they know that the Rep and more and lesser than the Senate, governor 50 million, president 100 million. What are you taking those money for? What what party needs its membership? It, it's so it's so sad that instead of party to be driving membership, they're driving money. So that tells you that their methodology to win the 2023 election is to buy votes. There is no way on earth in advanced countries where people will be party will be running after money rather than running after membership, right? If you take for for example in the US, they they will give you an option. You pay half the price and you give them like maybe twelve thousand members. And it, it's so it's so it's so a shame for us now that we are asking for you to get the nomination form to bring a hundred million naira nomination and expression of interest form. Uh, let us, is the, so they, the they all go forms. together. Yeah. They all go together. A hundred million naira, sir. If you put a hundred million naira into a party, what are you going to do? We are complaining that there is insecurity. That is if we increase the tension. That itself will make people want to do the issue of a do or die uh, uh, primaries. I cannot lose my 100 million naira. So they want to do <laughs> everything possible to make sure that they win. We thought that APC will be a party 
that will show us example because they are the ruling party to show us modern way of doing things to add morale into what they are doing mm -hmm. let me now say this nobody that have worked their time and energy to make money we put in a hundred million naira for nomination form right so what they are indirectly saying now to uh, their, their uh, uh, aspirant is to steal more money from governments and come and give to their party. Because I do not think that as a political office holder, you should cough out a hundred million to get your nomination form. That is another way of encouraging corruption. Okay. All right? right. All right, uh, Jibril, um, let, let's start from, because you are, 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 are you know, uh, leader of a young progressive, so let's start from there. Uh, Victor here in the studio, Victor Nilaju is um, a presidential aspirant. He's a young Nigerian. You are a member, an active member of the Young Progressives Congress. You're a leader group. You're also a young Nigerian. Uh, the first point Victor has made is that this new cost of the nomination and expression of interest forms by your political party for the various elections is a ploy by the APC, your party, to, to disenfranchise and exclude young people, young Nigerians from the political process. What do you say to that? Okay, let me start by stating this, that no political party in our recent history have had an inclusive government like the All Progressive Congress. The sales of form, let's get this right. Elections are not Tea Party. They are very cumbersome process and they are a very long and tiring process that are time consuming and energy sapping and also money draining. Let's be, fact, let's be factual about this. The fact about saying it dis disenfranchises young people, that is absolutely not correct. Does he also know that the party actually made it that the young people under the age of 40 are going to get their nomination form at the 50% discounted rate and all female aspirants are going to get their form free. No political party, not even the new party, have done this. So this is an inclusive policy that will push this process. If you want, if you want to conduct, let's get us right, there are over 170,000 polling units in the country. And the party needs to post agents to all of these polling units. And this agent the mobilization of this agent and their logistic cost a fortune. So let those politicians who want to go there to represent the people, if you don't have the power to mobilize funds, you have no business even being in politics in the first place. And, uh, you can as well go for crowd, uh, crowdfunding. Let the crowd fund you. As I'm speaking to you at this moment, the group of young people that I convene have been able to raise 100 million naira. None of us is in government. We comprise of students, young professionals across the country, and we've been able to raise the 100 million naira for Professor Yemi Oshibanyo. So this is the passion we have for this. We don't know him. I've never met him personally, but I have this passion for the growth of this country, for the development of this country. And I feel it is my own civic duty and my part, my quota in nation building to ensure that a credible candidate emerges. And I'm playing this part on my own volition without anybody forcing me. I'm bringing out my money and my fellow youth across this progressive youth group are bringing out their money to push for these candidates. So this is how elections are won globally. If you don't have the power to mobilize fund, please go and do something else. It's about collective effort, how we can collectively mobilize fund to push our candidate forward to win an election. Saying the party disenfranchises the, the youth is actually out of place because we need to get things in their proper context. And saying it is, it is a recipe for people to dip their hands into public coffers is entirely wrong. All right, we'll, 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 come, we'll come to Elections are community elections are community events. It is we'll, not we'll, an individual event. We'll come to so that. We'll, we'll, we'll come to that in a bit. But let's stay on the issue of, of the youth. Uh, uh, Victor, you've heard you've heard from from Idris. Now, Idris is making a, a point, which is the truth, that the All Progressives Congress did say yesterday that all of its members, aspirants under the age of forty, need not pay the hundred million if you want to be president. You pay fifty percent. 
If you want to go for the governorship, you pay in half, which is 25%. If you want to go for the Senate, you pay in half, which is 10 million. If you're going for House of Reps, it's, you pay half, which is 5 million. And if you're going for House of Assembly, you pay half, which is 1 million. And they're not taking any money from women. So women free. So what he's probably saying is that that is just a way of, of replacing what they, they have lost in a way, you know? <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not here to debate on this. No, 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 no. It, it, yeah, but, but for it, Idris, It's a debate, whether you like it or not, uh, because no, it's an issue. Not here. I'm yeah. actually not here to debate for it, but, but for Idris, I know Idris knows better. He's just trying to defend his party, right? It, only Idris cannot just be the right person. No, but but he he's he's Sam, no, but he has a, Idris, Idris hasn't hasn't taken his wife at, he, he at, cannot at, be at your the person. Only right person Let, let's let's not make this personal. If Victor. you go on, no no, I'm I'm not making it personal. If you go everywhere online, majority are saying it is outrageous. Even but but right? but, but, but Victor Victor, the right? fact the fact that majority so, majority are saying mm -hmm. it's outrageous doesn't make it right. So I want you to respond to the issues that Idris has raised. Okay. Idris has said his party has given a 50% discount for, for, for youth, for all contestants over 40. And no, no party is doing that. Sir, in, in APC, APC don't have, as of today, apart from, okay, maybe it, it, it should be above 40. APC don't have any presidential candidate that is below 40. Uh, aspirant. Yes. Ad Adamu Garba is there, the it, one who, said, who supported the ban on Twitter. It should be above 40 or it should be 40 this year or, or yeah, something. About, yeah. I, I really don't know about it. Mm -hmm. But even if you give him 50%, that's 50 million. Yeah. Which is still the highest. Okay. Which is still higher than PDP. Which is still higher than even my own party from 30 million asks us to pay 10 million. That's the uh, new Nigerian. Yeah, new Nigerian. Yes. Party. Okay. So they are asking me now to pay ten million instead of thirty, right? Because we had to talk to them, and they they on, on, on have basic understanding that every party drive now should be based on membership. It is paining me that Idris can raise a hundred million naira to give to the vice president to run for an election, when we have millions of Nigerian youths that are jobless that don't even have th food to eat. Why? <laughs> That's why I said I didn't come up here for, no. for debate. But if it, they have it, that... This, if, we're talking about issue, issues that, here. Sir, if they have that kind of structure, why not mm -hmm. get that 100 million naira and look for Nigerian youth who are jobless and empower them with skill, just like what my party is doing. My campaign is kicking off with skill empowerment. I can't spend that kind of hundred million naira giving to vice, a but vice you're, president. But you're spending ten. Crowdfunding. Crowd crowdfunding, sir. And our campaign is kicking off with skill empowerment for the youth and women. But, 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 why, this is why where do you have why do you have a problem with with, Sir, with, with the young progressives group? I have a big problem. Contributing money to support a candidate they believe in. Sir. We do respect. But you're asking people to support we you. We do respect, sir. Are we not going after the wrong thing? We have youth who are jobless. You are raising money. You are giving it to a man that have embezzled a lot of money from this same country. I don't... You may defy because... Victor, Victor, Victor. Victor yes, uh, like, you please. may... Okay. Please. That I've earned. Okay. You may really say, what does say embezzled. I, what does it what I, I've checked my records and I haven't seen that um, uh, the vice okay. president has been uh, convicted by any court for embezzling. So I think, I think we will not be fair. I think, I think we, If you want to say he, to... He, he, he has earned a lot of money or he okay. is well-to-do okay. because his vice president okay, gets paid well. You. But, but I, a, a embezzling will not be fair. Well, whatever you say, Nigerians know what is going on. Whether we come here, see, sir, I, I will be a stupid person. If I come up here and start sounding very naive we know the facts let's face it you, what are, can, what are you the cannot facts? tell me that what you see if you want us to ask idris to give us the statement of, of account how they generated that fund he, he may not see it to provide let's not go that route sir uh, are <laughs> you sure we can ask him we can ask him yeah if see by crowdfunding that we are about to launch Every week, we'll be giving updates. We can ask we, him. We have uh, never Idris, heard, are you there? No, 
see, eh, I'm trying no, not, be, not to make this be, because like it seems it seems debate. it seems Victor no, Victor it seems, it seems you like, like no, no it, it seems you're saying that automatically <laughs> any group that comes out to contribute money uh, for any presidential candidate who is seemingly Nigerian well, well, youth as that today excuse sir. me excuse me sir okay. mm, who is seemingly well to do mm. it automatically means that it's just a smoke screen that he, he must have like, given them the money to just just so Nigerian that like, youth as of today we know raise. A hundred million naira. I can bet. I can bet for it. Really? I will not raise a hundred million naira for a politician. Listen, they listen, believe in. Allow me to finish my statement. Yeah. We will not raise a hundred million naira and give it to these same old incompetent politicians. Okay. They will rather support a visionary leader like myself. All right. If Idris had told me that that money was raised to buy nomination form for him as Idris, I would have applauded that. Not to give it to the same, the same person you are raising money for is the chairman of the Economic Council of Nigeria. Is it taking money out and, from the economy? And today, no, 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 I, no, no. I'm, so I'm, what? It's just a, sir, just a role. Please, just, you say we need to make this more, more a discussion. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. Now, and the same economy that they ask him to manage is going down. No, but but, but and as grow worse. We have to understand. And you are still no, you, no, you are still raising yeah, Victor, Victor, hundred million Victor, naira you have to, to we, give we, the same person. We have to understand. Sir, he's, he's not not, we, full, no, we have to understand the role. Audience. We have to understand the role of mm. the National Economic Council in the scheme of things as far as Nigeria's economy is concerned. But that that will be another matter for another day. Sir, I, uh, I, I, it is back to you. Uh, Victor has raised the point. What Victor is saying is simply <clears> uh, <throat> that um, uh, you know groups like yours that raise money for. People like the vice president, probably who has an office. Victor says he has so much money, um, and that uh, he would like to see your group account uh, show us where the money is coming from. And probably he says it's already everybody knows that such things are just um, Nollywood scripts that are being acted out. Well, sentiment aside, Victor, being a presidential aspirant, should actually learn to keep his sentiment aside and speak based on facts. And, and, and I, 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 I think it will go a long way for him, considering the fact that he seeks to lead this country. Let's put things in their right perspective, please. You see, we understand that everything rises and falls on leadership. I know Victor made a statement that with 100 million, you could do a lot of youth empowerment. With a single proper policy, over millions of people's lives will be affected. And that is why we care about who lead us. We are not talking about throwing any youth just because he's a youth and on the state of power. We're talking about people who have the capacity, who have demonstrated this capacity to lead us at this particular point in time. If, I'm, if I want to, if I feel it's just because we want a youth at the state of power, I would have thrown in my heart in the ring. But that is not the case. Let's have the proper people there. Let's have square pegs there. People who can do better than us, and not because we are youth. You understand? And this fund we're talking about are fund that we are generated from crowdfunding. Because we believe in the capacity of the vice president. Whatever Victor is saying about you want to see the company account and the rest, we can actually show him the source and everything. And none of us, none of us hold any official appointment with the government. None of us. We are individuals, students, traders, professionals across different fields coming together to donate this money because we believe in the capacity and we've been able to communicate this vision to ourselves. And we've been able to share this vision to see that the vice president is the right person to lead this country. Ages. All right, uh, it is, it is. gentlemen, hello. hold the thought, uh, Victor, yes. Victor, yes. yes. Yeah, hold, hold, hold the thought, hold the thought. We want to go for a break. Uh, we'll come back after that break to continue. You're still watching Plus Politics and Plus TV Africa. Stay with us. Thanks uh, for joining us right here on Plus TV and of course Plus TV Africa for Plus Politics. So we're still looking at um, the recently concluded or recently held uh, All Progressives Congress National Executive Committee meeting and of course the matters arising uh, of uh, internal decisions taken by the All Progressives Congress as far as um, the 2023 elections are concerned, uh, issues to do with um, the uh, 
the zoning formula of the party, the mode of primaries to, to use or to adopt, and also, of course, the cost of the expression of interest and nomination forms uh, of that political party. And, of course, we have joining us tonight uh, Victor Nilaju, who is a, a presidential aspirant on the platform of the New Nigeria People's Party, the NNPP, and uh, the convener of the Progressive Youth Group of the All Progressives Congress, uh, Idris Jibro. Uh, um, Idris, you, you just told us the fact that um, you know you don't need uh, to give youth the money simply because they're youth. You're saying it's better for your group to install or instill a support um, the right leader for Nigeria, so that when that leader mm -hmm. gets into power, he or she uh, can uh, promulgate and implement policies that will better a lot of youth long term, rather than a hundred million naira that can be finished in a day. Um, uh, so, Victor, what do you say to that? So, uh, uh, you know, like I would always say, we are here because of the audience. We are here because of the people. The reason why I'm on this race to become the next president of Nigeria come 2023 is to bring help to the people. It would be wrong for me to sit here and be encouraging error. You, you, you are raising a hundred million naira to give to the same person that is the economic chairman of the same country that is going down economically. That, do, that doesn't add up. And let, let me state this so that the Nigerians will know. Buhari had good intention for this country. Fortunately, the people he hired, the people he, he, he brought into government to help him run those good intentions failed him woefully. So you're saying that and, the, re the reason Nigeria has gone down is because of the vice president? Yes, he's part of it. Okay, he's okay. Majorly, more, more, more because of the vice president majorly he's than, 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 than President Buhari? I could tell you that, yes. 100%. More about the vice yes, president. Yes. Even the economy is more about the vice yes, president than more, President Buhari. You are the chairman. And I will always say, and people call me and, and tell me excuses, that he is not the president. Sir, if you hire me to do your job, and you, you are not aligned to do your job, what will I do? I will retire. I will resign. And I've always said this time after time. If, if people should stop giving flimsy excuses for the vice president. If you are asked to do your job, you can't hire me to do a job. And I want to do it. You are not giving me that liberty. To prove to you that I can do it, I will tender my letter of resignation. And I will leave you alone. So that you can face it. You can't be in a sinking boat. And after the boat has sunk, you are coming to give excuse uh, because I am not the... the, uh, uh, the, the but, but back to Idris No, no, no. See, this, okay. this is what I'm going to. Right. This is what I'm going to. I only said that just for him to understand that, see, we are speaking to over 100 million Nigerians. And they are listening to us. It's so... I'm trying not to make this a debate because Idris is of the same uh, generation like myself. Right, so that's why I'm just trying to be mindful. But I want to let Idris to understand that Nigerians are watching, especially our fellow young Ni Nigerians. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say, a majority of them will be disappointed at some things that you are saying right now. You, you do forget right, 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 about, right, 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 about politics. Let, 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 let's, get, let's, get back, let's get back to let's the say, the Let's say things. So, 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 Idris, I'll give you a chance to respond to this before we move on to the next issue. You see, the problem with most people seeking political positions today is they don't really even understand what they seek or the country they seek to lead. I listened carefully to my fellow youth and a presidential aspirant talking about instead of seeking a good leadership for this country, we should take the money and give to youth as youth empowerment. And I weep because giving this money to youth does he know what a good leader meant to this country? Does he really understand what a good leader could do for this country? And we are seeking to have that in place. Instead of just using this money to give to you, we prefer to use this money to have good leadership across board in the party. Do you understand? So talking about things, let's really get this and keep sentiment out of sight. Let's keep sentiment from this. This... This is an election period in this country. So throwing allegations left, right, and center isn't going to help us. That's why you see most of this new party coming up do not really make headway because they don't really understand the perspective of things. 
when they speak, they speak out of sentiment and talk about, look, let's get this right, please. There is nowhere in the world where elections in a democratic process, where elections are conducted and people don't do crowdfunding. So crowdfunding is part of the way to generate funds for us. And we are adopting this procedure because we believe as youth of this country will have more at stake on who leads this country. I don't want to join issue with my fellow brother here. Okay, so, 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 so let's, let's, look, let's look at the point that Victor raised, which is that um, I think, Victor, you said that, you know, uh, no, no youth in Nigeria who is earning legitimate money will be able to sink even 50 million naira or raise 50 million naira to, to contest for the presidential to, to get, to get yeah, nomination forms. forms. And, and you should know that nomination form is the least when it comes, least expenses you, you make when it comes to election. Because there you have to make yourself available for inter-party uh, campaign, which will lead to primaries, which you have to spend so much. Mm. But so, 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 you're, 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 also, you, so you're, you're saying that no young person will be ready to spend all these monies? What I'm saying here is that if you spend 50 million, for example, now to get the form, how much are you going to spend to campaign for making sure that the delegates they are going to vote for you? All right. How much are you going so, to so, spend? So you're, you're saying that no young person is going to be want to spend 50 million to get a form, the forms? He or that the money he or she make to get the, the primaries. I doubt. Okay. So, 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 is this, is this what you find? I mean, you're also a young, young Nigerian and uh, this deeply in politics, so Idris, that um, it, it will be impossible for any young Nigerian politician to raise that 50 million just for the, nom the forms, the nomination and expression of interest forms. You see, I, I don't think Victor lives in this country and understand how things work here. The fact is that if Victor lives in this country, you will see how people lavish money in clubs, in hotels, on social media, and there are a lot of donations and giveaway. People give 50 million like it is 50 naira today. And these are happening all over. It's happening here and there, and it's being carried out by youth, not the adults, not the older generation. It's being carried out by youth. So this money, if this youth will put this money in the proper place, to ensure that we have good leadership in this country, a lot of things will change. Instead of using this money, to so are you are you saying that young Nigerians the... can afford this fifty million naira easily? Definitely, young Nigerians can afford fifty million naira and beyond. Sir, a lot of young let's people get this fast today, straight, making sir. a lot please, of money. Please, uh, Idris, let let's get this fast. Yes, there are a lot of young now, people today making a lot of money. Getting fifty million naira, it's not the problem. The issue here is putting that 50 million naira for a nomination form. That is the problem. And even for me, I'm not going to advise a young Nigerian. I'm not talking about somebody, a former governor, a former senator. No, I'm talking about a young Nigerian that have worked very hard to spend his or her hard earned. 50 million naira to get a nomination form. And, and I want us to talk beyond this nomination form thing. At least Nigerians know that this is, this is outrageous, right? Because what we are looking at here, we're not looking at, at just getting a, a nomination form. We're looking at a, a, a candidate that will be able to deliver to the people security, that will be able to deliver to the people jobs. That will be able to deliver to the people. But he's saying he's saying he's saying that that fifty million is not much money for a lot sir, of young people in Nigeria. And he, he made a point, which which is interesting. Sir, no, it it it, it, walk, it, is, it is made a point. Wait, wait. It, it is made a point yes. which is very interesting. Yes. But before you make yeah, that yeah, that, yeah. that point, fifty million. I walk houses in, in Lekki cost seven hundred million. Sir, Victor, I walk in houses in Lekki cost two hundred million. Yes, three hundred, five hundred million. Nigeria people are people, young people are buying speak. these houses. Sir, Nigeria as we speak, I can spend my hard earned money to buy a house because it will appreciate in price. But no, your nomination form does not appreciate. He, was, let's not go into there. Idris, I, I'm shocked at Idris right now. 
Because he fails to understand that there are millions of young people looking at him. Let me tell you. Okay, hold on. He he wants to respond. I'll come back to you. Yeah, Idris, you can you can start your point again. Elections are not bankrolled by the candidates alone. Elections are a community effort. All members of the party come together to ensure that they deliver their candidates. So everybody put pull their resources together to run this process. So Victor should stop thinking that the candidate who raised the 100 million naira will be the one to raise money for every process. There are people that will come in, I am providing a vehicle for your logistics. There are people that will come in, I am providing communication resources to you. There are people that will come in, I'm providing one or two things that you need for this campaign period. So Victor should not get it that this single person who raised this money for come for the nomination form will also be the one to bankroll the electioneering process that is not how it works it is a community effort all members of the party put right. their resources Victor, what, what, what do you say to Once a candidate has the truth the the truth about it is there is two basic issues here that i want us to address and that's where i'm finding difficult to to respond to no because he, he he's saying that it is a community effort yes it's not a one-man business i'm going I'm, i will get thing. into that yeah. that is after the primaries that is after the primaries the primaries need you and your team to work your 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 yourself out to get into the primaries and after that time you can now get the party to to support you right but what we are saying here is Two things that Idris have said that I'm not in line with. You cannot tell me the young people, you even mentioned students. Niger or oh, Nigerian students at home. That's why I, I, I don't want to discuss this that length. To say Idris is telling us that the same students who are at home are the ones who contributed money for them to give to the vice president to buy nomination form is out of place. Idris, what do you say to that? Idris, <laughs> do you understand what that, I'm saying? I mean, this student at the home, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you are asking Idris, them before I move on to my next point, yeah, can you quickly respond to that? I mean, students at home. Excuse me, Mr. Victor. I'm, I'm not, Excuse me. I'm not here Listen, yet you see, thank you, Victor. Please. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Victor. You see, when we say student donating this, our crowdfunding, some of them donated as little as 100 naira to this process. These are people who believe in the candidate we are selling to them. And if we say student because students are at home, they want a change. They don't want to stay at home anymore. They are looking for somebody who has a solution. To, they yeah, are not see, staying at home. Easy, now, he should do the change right now. Not staying at home. He should do the change. If the vice, if the vice president is listening to me, Mr. Vice President, Professor Osibajo, you're a professor, you're a lecturer. Please take Nigerian students back to school. So it, Don't it's, just so, so, collect so, so money it's, for it's, them it's all to down buy to... your nomination form. So, Victor, take them back to school. What you're saying is that the Vice President is, is, is solely responsible for the ASU strike. When you ask me that question, because it, I mean, Vic, Vic, uh, Idris said that you know that you you might not really understand the workings of government. Is Idris that don't have an idea? Are you expecting the vice president to be the one to the vice to, president to, to bring can, an end to the, the vice strike? president can call the the minister of education and call the ASU executive together for an indoor meeting? When when the president when, when the president has not approved or asked him to do that. When the president has not asked him to do that, yeah, the, the, On the, his own. the, the president has to use can I to raise money you see, for the him. issue of us. The issue uh, so, of is not sir, please, issue, eh? but I let's, let's, okay, gentlemen, gentlemen, let's, gentlemen, let's, 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 let's have one house. Let's have one house, please, please, please. Let's, let's, there is a, 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 um, I'm, I'm just going to ask, um, uh, uh, producers to please, um, uh, display this on this tweet by Ade Tunji Adeniro, uh, who calls himself AA. And he has come up with, uh, with um, uh, another kind of analysis um, of this, this 100 million naira. He, he says he, he did a simple analysis. Clearly, the ruling class, he says, don't think in naira terms. And if you can see from his analysis, this is the cheapest the APC presidential form has ever cost since the party came up in 2014, 2015. 
you can see from his calculations and uh you can follow him at king at j if you want underscore if you want to just read that person and maybe save it he's saying that in 2015 if you do the maths the apc presidential form uh forbes cost two hundred and seventy thousand dollars. in 2019 they cost two hundred and twenty six thousand dollars. in 2023 their cost is costing one hundred and seventy one thousand dollars, about ninety nine thousand dollars less than it costs in the last elections so maybe it's a case of of we not really upgrading our naira and kobo you know, sense to know that 100 million naira today really doesn't amount to as much as it used Sorry, to amount to. We are in Nigeria. We are not in the US. And to, to even bring up that, you are even showing to the world how Nigerian currency have been, have been devalued, have depreciated under the same person that you are raising. Ah, God, I've not heard this before. You are raising money for the vice president of the country. From the same student that no, you uh, uh, we moved on from the vice president. Do you no, understand? No, no, no. no, no. no. I mean, to be on the hundred million naira. Coming back to the hundred million. What, 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 what this guy is saying is that us. it actually, in real terms, costs less. What, this is the that's what he's saying. That is what what you are showing us. Sir, Roy said what, is that it costs less. No, what he says this is the cheapest it's no, ever been. No, is the cheapest because our naira have been devalued. That's not in doubt. But but ha, is it is it so? Are you are agreeing is the cheapest. Is not the cheapest. No, but you just said it's the cheapest because now it's, it's been devalued. It's not the cheapest. Well, look at it. It's one hundred and seventy-one thousand in, in dollars. You, in dollars, if in dollars, you uh, we are in Nigeria. We are not in the U.S. But the oil you pay, you you pay you you buy is you buy price in U.S. dollars. So you pay in naira. The but oil, it's pe yeah, the, the crude oil, you, the, the the petrol you buy is in USD. That is another shame to the vice president. Even your naira is 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 Sir, is, is, is that is. Another it goes up or, or goes down. That is another shame. No, we we moved on. We president. moved on from the vice president. We're talking about the cost of the form. We're talking about the cost of the form, yeah. and we're indirectly looking at what by what Idris said that Nigerian youth. No, no. We, we moved on. We moved on from that. I'm saying that Adetunji Adeniro mm, on Twitter mm. says that the APC presidential form from his analysis. And please, can you show down the screen? And costs less in 2023 than it did in 2019 and 2015. You know, more than more than a hundred, about ninety-nine thousand dollars less. We are Nigerians, sir. Let's talk this figure. In but it, 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 do you are no 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 no. no but do you agree that that is the fact? In naira, mm -hmm. it is higher. In naira, it is higher. Right? Really? Let because because you you have, you have you have depreciation. Our people, sir. That you would have to let us educate our people. See, sir. I mean this political space. Politicians will do everything to change the narrative. But, but, but this, when it comes to what is not, this, is not, them, this is not a narrative. This is the, the fact. It's, it's that there. is not the, the info. Fact. You can that, go online. Sir, no. That is not what the is fact. What is the naira to dollar today? Okay, let's, let's allow Idris come in. That is not the fact. Okay, thank you so much. Thank that you is so not much. The I think this discussion has been clouded by too many emotions and uh, trying to drag the name and character of the vice president into the gutter. And I think I'm not going to throw that part with uh, Mr. Victor. Yeah, but, but we, 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 we've moved on from that now. We've moved on from that. No, no Victor, please. Victor, please. I did today, I did the wrong for thinking globally. As much as we, we actually admit that, yes, the Naira has lost its value, but this analysis is apt. It is correct. It is accurate when you are thinking globally. And come to think of it, no party's nomination form has remained the same from 1999 till date. So the party nomination form keeps increasing. And this has been the value of things across. I don't think Mr. Victor here will want to sell a land he bought. It seems we have a bit of an issue with the connection to uh, Idris. Are you there, Idris, Jibril? Okay, we, we've lost, we've lost him. Um, Victor, before you go, um, why, 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 why do you think? Um, some people are asking, you know, that, I mean, you know, candidates like yourself, other Nigerian politicians who are young, mm. and even the young people of the country who are screaming about the hundred million naira. Mm. Um, I mean, there are eighteen other, there's seventeen other political parties that 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 are available for for people who have a problem with this to to go and join now you yourself you've taken a decision that will mean that you don't have to go take ibuprofen tomorrow which is you are in nnpp that says instead of 30 million yeah. bring 
Tell me. So why, why, why do you want to give yourself a, additional headache? This, this is how they want to do their things okay. in APC. Oh. So you, 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 you have chosen your path. Shouldn't other people also look for where they can go and have peace of mind? Sir, it's, and allow them to do the things the way they waited. It is their party. Sir, it's the pressure that they put into the political system. Even if I am in NNPP right now, mm -hmm. New Nigeria's People's Party. So why are you, why are you, it's, it's, like, it's like being an Arsenal fan and then you are worried about Sir, Manchester United. It's, see, I am worried because it doesn't show that the people leading us as are today are sincere to the problem that we are facing as a people. And we are still worried that because we have we young have, we have yeah yeah because we have young people in APC like myself that would love to run for the office of the president. All right, we have to go. We have to go. Uh, Victor Nilaju is a presidential aspirant on of the um, New Nigeria People's Party, the NNPP, and of course we've also been joined today by the convener of the Progressive Youth Group in the All Progressives Congress, uh, Idris Jibril. Jibril and uh, Victor Nilaju, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you so time. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Idris, hope, hope, thank you for joining us. <laughs> hope thank to, you, Victor. I hope to see you someday. Yes, so, we we'll hope so. to have you guys we'll again. See. And thank that's the much you can take on the program that's the size of our show. My name is Kofi Bartels. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.